Hey there guys and welcome back to another session of Innovators Launchpad course and in this course we are going to continue with MIT App Inventor and we are going to create an entirely new app. It's going to be a very simple very uh, short app that we are going to make uh, today. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make a, a step counter app. So I'm sure uh, a lot of you are probably aware about such apps. Uh, and there are other devices also uh, very uh, you know particular to this functionality like you have different kinds of fitness bands and smart watches that allow you to uh, measure that how many steps you have walked how much distance you have covered and they do so with the help of a very particular type of sensor known as a pedometer um, you know most uh, modern android phones already have that sensor inbuilt in them and we will be using that uh, sensor that functionality uh, to actually create this app so without wasting any more time let's start uh, building our app so as you can see i've already you know opened up the app inventor site and logged on uh, using my credentials uh, so i'm just going to click on start new project now uh, we'll input the name uh, step counter and click ok so it will open up a blank uh, new app all right so let's uh, you know obviously we're going to start with creating our user interface first so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll basically add uh, two labels that will just uh, you know one of them will show the number of steps covered and the other one will show the distance in meters that how much distance we have actually walked and then we will add two buttons uh, one button will be to actually start the pedometer the sensor which actually measures all of these things and one button we will add to uh, stop the uh, sensor so let's start uh, so over here you can see that you have uh, this option for a uh, label so i'll just drag a label uh, first now you can see that again uh, we already covered this in the last uh, video in the last session so by default you know everything is aligned uh, to the left of the screen so to change that click on screen one under components and change uh, align horizontal to center so this will basically make everything center aligned and now uh, so yeah uh, what i'll do is i'll change a few of the properties of uh, this so i will first rename label one to uh, steps display all right i'll increase the font size a little let's say i'll set it to 25 and the default text uh, will be steps colon space zero so this will be the default number of steps that uh, you would have uh, walked and the second thing uh, i'll again add another label now this one is for distance so i'll rename it distance display click on ok and change the text to distance colon zero so this will be our default distance which is obviously zero now uh, I'll, I'll add a few like spaces uh, in between these two labels and from the top of the screen also so we'll go to drawing an animation and uh, drag a blank canvas first on top over here just before steps I'll set it height uh, set its height to let's say 20% width it doesn't matter because i want a vertical spacing so i don't care about the horizontal uh, dimension of this i'll add another canvas between steps and distance and this height i will set to let's say 10 percent all right so our labels are uh, in uh, now what we need to do is we need to add uh, two buttons one to start the pedometer and the other one to stop the pedometer so i'll go to user interface and drag one button uh, but again so i want these two buttons side by side so first of all what we need is a horizontal arrangement from the layout section so i'll drag in a horizontal arrangement and then i will add two buttons one button and then i'll add another button over here I'll again add a little bit of distance uh, between the distance label and the horizontal arrangement. So for to do that, I'll go to drawing an animation and drag another one of these canvases and I'll change its height to, let's say, uh, I'll set it to 10% only. 
and I'll also add uh, a few uh, gapping between the two buttons. So I'll add another canvas between here. And now I want, I'm actually, uh, uh, my point of concern is the width. So I'll set its width uh, to 10% only. Yeah. And uh, so the first button is for to start to, uh, to start the pedometer. So I'll just type in start as text. I'll uh, change the font. I'll set it to 20. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll change the shape also to round it and width I will set it to 25% then moving on to the next button I'll change its font size so font size will be 20 width will be again 25% and shape will be rounded and my text will be stop because on press of this button, I want my pedometer to basically stop uh, functioning. I wanted to stop calculating or uh, measuring the steps and distance. All right. Uh, I'll rename this button. One will be uh, start button, and button two will be stop button. All right. So with this uh, the bulk of our interface is completed or actually uh, the entire interface is completed we need to add one more thing so we need to add that pedometer functionality to our app also right so we'll go to the sensors part and over here we will see pedometer all we need to do is just drag and drop it anywhere on the screen uh, sensors are basically you know non-visible components you will see so when i dragged it uh, you can see that and uh, it uh, it shows under non visible components so it doesn't uh, like show on the screen itself because again it's a functionality that we are adding not a physical uh, button or something like that uh, but this will basically allow us to you know program it when we go to the uh, blocks uh, section so uh, now the now that our interface is completed and we have also added the sensor functionality we can actually move on to uh, create uh, our code for this app so i'll go to the uh, blocks section so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add functionality of start button so when start button dot click i want to start my pedometer sensor so i will go to the pedometer part and over here you will see this block uh, call pedometer one dot start so this will basically uh, start the sensor and for stop button i will add call pedometer one dot stop so this will basically stop the pedometer sensor so we have added the start and stop button functionality now we need to add the main like pedometer functionality which will actually you know calculate the steps and the distance so again go to the pedometer section and uh, we have this uh, block when pedometer one dot walk step so basically whenever like the sensor detects that a, a step has been you know walked uh, this uh, this part will be invoked so what i need to do is i want to display this uh, these the number of steps walked and the distance covered in these two labels steps and distance okay so what i will do is i'll go to uh, i'll have to select the steps label first which is this uh, steps display and i'll get one of these uh, set blocks and from this drop down list i will select text now uh, what i need to do is basically uh, i need to display this text steps uh, this colon and then uh, there is a numerical value which will be uh, which the sensor will give us uh, in this walk steps uh, form so i need to basically like combine uh, two strings together and then display it as a whole so in the text section you will see we have this join block over here so I will drag one of these and attach it over here and then I will add this empty text field over here I will write steps colon and space so this is like the text part of uh, thing now I need the actual steps walked and uh, I need to join these two strings together and to do that I will just basically click on walk steps and I'll get this get walk steps uh, block, which I will attach over here. 
So what this will do is this will basically uh, you know join these two strings together and make a single string and it will be displayed uh, in our steps display label and similarly what I'll do is uh, I'll have to uh, do the same thing for my distance display so I'll get this uh, set distance display block select text from the list and then I need to join two fields together one is the actual text itself which is distance colon space and the last part which is the actual numerical distance that uh, you know the person has walked so with this the basic uh, you know the functionality of our app is uh, completed now there's one thing that you must be wondering that you know uh, every person is of different height and depending on that the the distance that they have covered the number of steps might be same but uh, the distance that they have covered will be different for everyone which is correct so how does it how does the app like know that uh, you know how much distance that the person has covered so there is something called a uh, stride a stride is basically the distance that is covered in one step and on average like for a normal uh, for an for an average adult it's somewhere around 0.7 meters to 1 meters so if i go to my designer section and uh, click on and select my pedometer over here you will see this uh, property stride length it's in meters so by default it is 0.73 meters so uh, you know you can measure your own so th this can be a fun little activity that you can do you can just measure that how much distance you cover uh, when you take one step and you can input that data over here so this will give you uh, you know then in that way it will give you the actual uh, accurate distance that uh, you would have uh, covered while walking so uh, right now i'll just leave it to 0.73 but if you want to change it you can always do that yeah so with this our app is now completed it will basically show the number of steps so first how will it function we'll first uh, you know click the start button which will basically start the pedometer sensor and then whenever you know a step occurs it will just update like the the number of steps covered and the distance covered in our labels uh, through this uh, these these blocks over here and like when we want to stop the pedometer function we can just uh, click on the stop button uh, on our app and it will stop functioning so this is done all i need to do is i just need to uh, build my app and then we will download it on our phone and see how it uh, how it functions okay guys so i have installed uh, download and installed the app on my phone so i'll just start it now so you can see uh, this is how the app looks like we have the steps displayed over here we have the distance displayed over here and then i have the start and stop button so what i'll do is i'll uh, i'll tap on the start button I have the phone in my hand and I'll start walking. So as I walk you can see that uh, you know the number of steps that I have taken along with the distance it's changing. And when I tap on stop it will stop changing. So these this data will be saved so the next time when you uh, you know again start the app uh, or press the start button basically it will start from uh, there only and it won't like you know reset the steps and your distance. Okay so that was all for this video guys I hope you were able to learn a lot of new stuff uh, especially about you know how you can um, use the inbuilt sensors in your phone and uh, you know use them to make uh, really amazing apps so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you again next time want to learn more about the inbuilt sensors of your phone and maybe use some more of them something like let's say the accelerometer sensor or the gyroscope to create your own motion controller gamepad just log on to our website avishka.cc and join our coding and app dev micro degree course.